So if you're one of the few people who's seen my 3D Fractals video, what you're seeing here is basically the exact same thing, the exact same algorithm, except implemented entirely using all these Desmos equations. And yeah, I've created 3D Fractals inside of Desmos Graphing Calculator. And this uses ray marching to create the fractals. And I'll, I'll create an expl I'll probably create an explanation video going like more deep into how this actually works if anybody wants me to. But yeah, that's pretty much all this is. And it takes quite a while to update because Desmos is pretty slow compared to like the hardware accelerated like OpenGL shading language I was using for the other fractals thing. But yeah, it's zooming into the fractal, it'll probably be, it'll probably show up inside of there in the next few, yeah, there we go. And then I'll just turn around by adjusting the rotation. And then yeah, that's basically what I wanted to show you. You can try this out for yourself as well. I've, Im I've linked all of the equations in the descriptions. And you can you can copy all the equations at once into Desmos, and it'll just work right out of the box like that. You can just copy all of them at once, and it'll automatically separate them. No need to copy them one by one. That would be ridiculous because there's like hundreds of them. But yeah, you can probably see the 3Dness of it, like all the cubes and everything. And admittedly, it's at a pretty low resolution. Like there's only like five fractal iterations, but anything much more than that would cause it to be even slower than it already is. So yeah, that's why I just went with five. So yeah, that's that's really all there is to see here. So yeah.